cosplay friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i have a really fun video where i am going to be planting growing harvesting and then cooking with some herbs from this let pot hydroponic system this system is an amazing way to grow herbs inside your own house i didn't try it with like houseplant seeds like begonias or something because i really wanted to try it with herbs i've never grown any vegetables or herbs before and i thought that it would be a really fun experience but i do think that you could grow houseplants in this system so you can see me setting up the whole system right now what i'm doing is i'm actually filling it up with water and then inside this whole compartment area there is actually like a little bubbler so it will be administering air like into the water itself here i am planting some seeds i planted six different types of seeds and it was my goal to harvest all of them, but this whole process took me a couple months and I had to restart kind of in the middle of it because I ended up letting everything die on accident just because I had a really rough patch with my depression. So that kind of thing happens sometimes, which is why this video is coming out so much later than I originally intended it to. But yes, I ultimately came out of this with only three different herbs. And also, I call something basil in this video, but I think it's actually thyme. So I harvested mint, thyme, and chives. So ultimately, this experience was a ton of fun. The other cool thing about this is that you can actually control it with your phone. So LetPot has an app that you download, obviously. And then you can actually control the whole system, set timers, and it will automatically like bubble the water, change the light, turn off the light entirely on a schedule. So it's pretty much like a completely self-automatic way to grow herbs or plants in your house. Honestly, I can see this having a ton of different types of benefits only because like, let's say that you live in a college dorm or an apartment or something and you want to grow herbs and vegetables, but you can't. Now you can and you don't even have to pay any attention to it. So yeah, it was fun. Okay, you guys, so I have a little bit of an update for you. It has been a couple days now. It hasn't even been a full week and the seeds are already coming in. After about four days, I actually had to take off the little seed caps and ground the entire thing in plastic wrap so that it would continue to stay humid and have like a greenhouse effect as the plants are continuing to get bigger. Some of them are so adorable and they actually still have like the little seed sticking off on top of the plant so but yep it's been six days and i'm excited to see what happens okay so it has been two months now and i have been growing these plants out for quite a while i am now harvesting them and like i kind of said before in this video i didn't get to harvest all six types i only got to harvest three different types which i believe are chives mint and thyme the thyme might be basil but from what i saw of basil photos i don't think that i don't think it's basil so i think it's actually thyme but everything smelt so wonderful when i took off the plastic wrap from around the sides before i started harvesting it was just like this rush of amazing smells and i was like bro i literally grew this the hardest part about this whole section was like separating everything and then also making sure that i removed off some of the dead pieces because like i don't want to eat dead thyme or dead mint or something you know so finding and separating all of the different little dead pieces was really hard and it's funny too because like as we're watching me do this you can see me like stop and like smell my fingers or taste a leaf or something and i was just like having the time of my life harvesting everything and like oh my gosh it just smelled so good so what my plan is is i think i'm gonna try to make mint tea which i'll probably mix with some of my jasmine tea and then i'm also going to be taking the thyme slash basil thing and i think mixing it on some potatoes okay so here are the herbs that i was able to harvest the mint is still a little bit juvenile uh but it is the peppermint so it's like mentha hybridized with something else but 
Here I'm going through it and separating all of the little dead pieces one more time so that way when I wash it I'm only actually washing the parts of the plant that I'm gonna end up eating so ultimately I'm so proud of this I can't believe I grew my own edible herbs. Okay so I just harvested this from my let pot. I was hoping that I would have more to harvest but this is my first time growing herbs ever and it was a lot more difficult than I thought it was. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have like a hydroponic system to do it for me, but I grew green onions. Also, I think known as scallions. They might be different though. I don't know anything. Uh, a ton of mint. The mint did so good. And then this is basil and these three things. Oh my gosh, I could just eat this. I love onion. So like I can eat raw onion. Raven, you're being really cute. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make this stuff into food. So I'm going to be washing and refrigerating the basil and chives uh, because I'm gonna be making scalloped potatoes later tonight and I'm gonna add this to my scalloped potatoes. But for now, we're gonna make a cup of tea with the mint and I'm excited. You guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to replant new stuff because I just think, I don't know, I kind of feel like this is life changing. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Um, so that's kind of awkward, but I've got my tea here, which I'm steeping currently. I'm making a jasmine green tea from Twinnings and I'm just gonna let that sit and steep. And right now I'm actually harvesting the mint leaves, which I am, I already washed. I just washed them. I feel so bad. I literally did all this stuff on camera. I watched my lens retract and I was like, no way was I not recording. I have never grown food before. Like I know that this is technically herbs and not food, but like you can eat it. So I'm counting it as food. And I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was. Uh, I had to grow this through my depression, which was the hardest part. There was actually more plant. Like I planted six different types of seeds. The goal was to harvest all six types, but I am not gonna be mad at myself because I have never grown anything before that is edible. And I am just gonna be proud that I got anything out of it at all because where while I feel like I have a green thumb with houseplants, you know, those are ornamental. I did, I've always kind of felt like I have a black thumb with food. So I don't know. I'm just going to be proud of what I did because I did grow something and I am really excited. I'm making, so Chris and I are having um, steak and scallop potatoes for dinner tonight. And I'm going to put the basil and the onions uh, on top of the scallop potatoes. And it's going to be extra fun because I freaking grew it. So fucking take that depression. I made my own food and I'm really excited to replant because this stuff literally just grows itself. Like if you live somewhere like me where you can't just grow stuff like all year round outside, you can just fucking get one of these and then like now that it's like spring you know it's kind of time to start planting your vegetables and stuff you could just grow everything inside with this it's honestly like like i don't even like going outside to garden sorry i know lots of you girlies are like outdoor plant girlies but i'm an indoor plant girly also like what if you live in a college dorm or an apartment and you don't have access to either a local garden or you know something like that this is like just do it in your house. I'm just using my fingernails, by the way, to like break off the leaves from the, the stem. Mint also has really, really good benefits. Um, let's see if this little onion. Mint has super good benefits for your health. So I don't know if you guys like tea, but I really like tea. I used to drink coffee, but I felt like coffee kind of made me feel gross. And tea doesn't. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. Tea doesn't make me feel the same way coffee makes me feel. Holy cow, you guys, we grew this. Oh my gosh, that's actually so cool. Okay, that makes me feel really good. This might be a new problem. I might be a food person now. I grew this. I know I'm saying the same thing over and over, but I've never done anything like this before and I'm about to put this in my tea and I made it. 
and it took months. Oh my gosh. I understand why farmers are farmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these. You can also just make pure mint tea by boiling water and putting uh, tea mint leaves in it. Cool, and I'm going to stir that into my tea. I have these really cute teaspoons. So I have to let this steep for about two minutes. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna go put this away. Now I'm going to wash and store my basil and my green onion, but I'm gonna try it first. I wish I was able to grow them bigger. That's gonna be the step in the future. Herbs, who would have known? Who would have known? All right, I have put away the onion and basil and I'm gonna pull out our tea leaves now. Do you guys put anything in your tea or do you just eat it? It doesn't matter if we get it all out because it's edible, but I just don't like the idea of drinking leaves. All right, we made our tea. My mouth tastes like a combination of all three of the herbs I just ate. Here's our tea. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I've never had like minty jasmine tea before. Awesome. Okay, I am gonna drink this while I do the dishes and then we will get together and make scallop potatoes with the chives and basil that I grew. Well, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Let Pot. You're the best. Okay, you guys, it's time for scallop potatoes. I was gonna do this a lot earlier, but I thought that it would probably be better, be better to make them closer to when Chris is actually gonna come home. So we're making them now. I'm making these. It's funny because I live in Idaho and these are called Idahoan scallop potatoes. I've made these before. Uh, the night that I felt myself getting sick, like I got really crazy body aches. My throat was hurting. I had a cough and Chris had already been diagnosed with COVID. Like he had already taken a COVID test that was positive two days before. I was like, okay, either this is all in my head and I have like crazy hypochondriac syndrome or I'm also getting COVID. So at four in the morning, I food prepped a bunch of shit because I was like, I, when I get sick, I really don't like to cook. Like I really, I mean, who does, right? But like, I really don't like to cook. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna survive at all without eating out, I am, I'm gonna have to have food. So literally at four in the morning, I made scalloped potatoes and they were the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. It was crazy. We're gonna make these. And also Alex is on the phone because I'm bored, lol. <laughs> Say hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. That's not, okay, that works. It's actually really, really easy to make scalloped potatoes if you do it uh, from a box. And it makes more than you think. Like this doesn't look like a lot, but it like, it becomes a lot, I promise. We are gonna combine the sauce mix and then you literally just stir in three cups of boiling water, three fourths cup of milk and three tablespoons of butter. Okay, what I did before was I just like loosely shook it around like this. Okay, we're gonna boil that water. And then while that's boiling, we're gonna grab three quarters cup of milk and then butter. Okay, so we got our, oh, sorry, what'd you say? I've had that happen before too. Have you really? she like I could tell like you know when you get mad at an animal and they think you're gonna like abuse them <laughs> or maybe you didn't have that but like Raven was adopted 
So whoever had her before definitely hit her because I don't know, you can just tell. Yeah, I don't know. She like flinched like I was gonna hit her. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Hell yeah. I don't even know how someone could like get rid of her. All right, our water's boiling. So we're gonna add it. our potatoes all right and then we are going to put this in the oven as it is like this for 25 minutes so just curious is this going to go on your old channel cooking ashley <laughs> no a main channel video <laughs> all right I'll see you guys back here in 25 minutes when we put our cute little herbs on top of the scalloped potatoes. Okay, scallops are done. <clears throat> and we are gonna cut up our herbs. Listen, you guys, I'm not a phenomenal cook. I'm just trying, okay? All right, and now we have basil. Oh my gosh, the basil smells so strong. Holy cow, that's like overwhelming. We're not gonna put the whole thing on there. We have a dried basil we buy from the store. Cool, okay, so I've made the scallop potatoes. Here they are. I cooked them just a little bit longer because I wanted, I personally really like the crunchy top. So I cooked it a little bit longer and you can see my little herbs on top. Cool. And we're, we're eating this for dinner tonight, so it'll be good. Hi. Thank you so much Let Pot for sponsoring this video and sending me the herb garden. I freaking love it and I actually can't wait to replant it. Uh, I'm gonna link everything in the description and then also you can use this discount code to check out. It's a great way to grow plants and herbs indoors, uh, especially if it's too cold outside and you wanna plant some vegetables. So I'll see you guys later, bye.